It has been a decade since the late Philip Seymour Hoffman captivated Broadway as Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman. More than 70 years have passed since the play premiered, but a new production that opened last night makes history in its own way. Yeah, this is the first to feature African Americans in the lead roles. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is here now with his review. Sandy. Joe and Liz, I want to start by saying I'm very careful about recommending that you go and see a Broadway show because I'm well aware of how expensive they are. But every so often I see one that is so extraordinary, I have to say, don't miss it. And that is exactly how I feel about this Death of a Salesman. Death of a Salesman has been given new life on Broadway thanks to Wendell Pierce and Sharon D. Clark who play Willie and Linda Lohman as they have never been played before. Equally powerful and equally compelling, which gives this production a balance rarely achieved in a play with one man at its heart. I put 34 years into this firm, hoe it, and now I can't pay my insurance. The pathos of his situation still resonates. The pain of a salesman facing the end of his career is as sharp as ever. There's a thrill, too, watching one of our great actors channel all of his professional and personal experience into the role of a lifetime. You can't eat the orange and throw the peel away. A man is not a piece of fruit. His willy is more vibrant than others who have played the part, more determined not to give up without a fight. And in that, he has a partner played in such a magnificent way as to give new meaning to some of the most famous lines in American theater. He's a human being, and a terrible thing is happening to him. So attention must be paid. He's not to be allowed to fall into his grave like, like an old dog. This new production is Broadway's first to feature black performers in the lead roles. Chris Davis and McKinley Belcher play the couple's sons, Andre DeShields, Willie's brother. And together with others, they bring extra meaning to the word revival by giving this tragedy first performed in 1949 new strength and vitality. Together, they make the story timeless and above all, universal. Miranda Cromwell has directed this cast brilliantly, and I left the theater deeply moved. This death of a salesman touched the innermost recesses of my heart so that I ceased to be a critic and became instead a son, reflecting on my own late parents, even though Rob and Lindy Kenyon bore little resemblance to the father and mother of this play. The cost of a ticket seems to be a small price to pay for such a transformative experience.